Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're looking into getting this shoulder rest, then keep watching this video. I'm gonna tell you everything you need to know about it. So the number one thing for me that can really lose my attention is the price. If it's way too expensive, I'm not, I'm not even gonna bother looking into it anymore. So the price is not too bad. I'll get to that in a bit. The second thing for me is overall comfort. How is the pad? How thick is it? How is it shaped? Is it comfortable? And of course, this can be different for everybody. Some people have broader shoulders, some people have skinny shoulders. So this is my opinion, this is what's gonna be comfortable for me. And if you have a similar shoulder to mine, um, you might feel the same way. So for this one, the pad, as you can see, is pretty thick. It's nice and cushiony, so it's comfortable. And it just, I feel like it has a lot of support. Rather, as this part, it's really skinny. Um, some shoulder wrists are exactly like that width, and I feel like that wouldn't be enough support for my shoulder. So this one, the pad is pretty, pretty big. Right here, you can see a picture how wide it is. Alright, and it does not slip at all. Whatever material this is, it just sticks to your shoulder. You don't have to worry about it slipping off. It sticks right there. Now the third thing is adjustability. How big or small can you make it and how short and tall? Every violin is different. I used to think that all of the width was exactly the same, but I've had the pleasure of trying many violins. I even got to try a Stradivari once. And the, the bottom part, the width, is different. Some of them are a lot more narrow, some of them are wider. It's important that your shoulder wrist can adjust to those different types of violins. Or maybe if you have more than one violin, you know, the size can vary and you want to have a shoulder wrist that can adjust to both of those violins. So right here, you can see the width of these two holes. So the smallest you're going to get it is that. And then medium or so, you have that one. And then the widest it can go is right here, these outer rings. So it has a good range of adjustability. You know, a smaller violin going to a bigger violin. And the height, it comes with an extra leg and it has a little short leg. This is the one that came with it, I believe. And then I, I decided to go with the longer one because it was a little more comfortable. So this is the shortest you can make it. And then this is the highest it'll go. Notice I also have, it comes with an extra cushion and I already went ahead and put that on there. If you can see the line, it comes with a smaller cushion um, and then an extra one. You can either replace it or I just put mine on top and it's super comfy. It doesn't hurt, it doesn't bother me at all. And be careful not to put the long leg into this short side. As you can see, I had to um, sort of rig mine. I had the longer leg into this spot and I was twisting it in and I didn't realize that this piece comes out. So little by little as I was putting the leg in, this piece was coming out and eventually it just slipped out. So I put it back in and I put some super glue. Good as new. The fourth thing is durability. Can this stand the test of time? It seems like it's a pretty good material. Strong plastic, this part doesn't even bend, it's not gonna break. These legs, they are, so far they're holding up pretty good. They don't look fragile or anything. So I like that, it looks very durable. The only thing I didn't like was that, you know, that little piece that I had to fix. And this side, it kind of looks like it might be coming out a little bit. All right, the fifth thing for me is design. Does it look ugly? 
Is it like just one big nasty rock? I think subconsciously the design does play a role, at least for me, when I'm choosing a shoulder rest, if it looks ugly, if it's a color that I don't like, you know, like bright pink or something, I'm not even gonna bother looking at it. But this one, it comes in black, and then they have a, a more expensive version that is like a wood color, wood finish. They both look really nice, the design is cool, modern. And also, does it fit in my case? Boom, place it in there, strap it in, whatever. It fits perfectly in any case of any size. Some other shoulder rests are super curved, they're very bulky. Uh, some of, I see some of my friends, they carry their violin on one side, and then in the other hand, they're holding their big old shoulder rest. I don't like to do that. I want my shoulder rest to fit in my case. So this one is the perfect size. So now, the big question, price. When I first got it, I think it was a promotional price because it had just been released to the public. So I got this from Char and I ended up paying $37.60, which is not bad, not bad at all. Um, today's date is December 27th, 2020. And I checked Char's website. They have it right now at $47. That's not too bad. And like I said, there is a wood version that looks a lot nicer. That one is $89.75. And then I checked also Johnson String. This model will cost you $47. And the wood version is $89.95. So overall, Price is decent, Comf comfort is good. So my overall rating is a 3.5 out of five stars. I recommend it, it has a thumbs up for me. Thanks for watching, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more videos like this. We'll see you next time.